Cryptocurrency exchanges, hot topic right now, and the landscape is currently in the midst of a complete paradigm shift from a centralized model to a decentralized model. Ethereum first brought forth the concept with web clients such as Ether Delta, then protocols like ZeroX, and now exchanges like IDEX. But in times of high traffic, the proof of work algorithm that Ethereum relies on will force these exchanges to come to a grinding halt. Luckily, smart contract platforms like NEO arose and with their modified algorithms could handle higher loads of traffic with finality, secure contracts, and the scalability needed to thrive. Today I would like to do a breakdown of a decentralized exchange or DEX who just launched on the mainnet last week and is showing they got the chops to compete and that DEX is Aphelion. What's unique about Aphelion is they are a wallet, specifically on the NEO blockchain, which can hold your NEO assets as well as NEP tokens like Aphelion. To get the wallet, you can download it from the Aphelion GitHub. Link is here as well as in the description of this video. The wallet is for desktop only and support is for Mac and Windows. Mobile wallets are actually on the way soon. Once downloaded, open the file and you'll be greeted with a slick interface. You'll be asked if you'd like to log in or create a new wallet. Clicking on login, you have the options to open a saved wallet, open a ledger wallet, open your wallet with an external encrypted key or private key. Pressing back, let's now click on create a new wallet. Here you just need to name your wallet and enter the passphrase for access. Once this is entered to your liking, you will be taken to the next screen with your newly created details, which include the public address and encrypted private key QR codes, the passphrase, your actual public address, the encrypted private key and unencrypted private key, as well as your width. If this is gonna be your wallet you're gonna use, make sure to save these details offline so no hackers get the details. For this video, we will be using a saved wallet, so go back to the home screen and click login. Click Saved Wallet, enter your details, and you will be in. The wallet displays your portfolio of NEO and its assets. To the right of that is the option to receive and send any type of NEO asset. Below these are your token stats, which defaults to Aphelion as well as a price chart for the selected asset. To change your selected asset below your token stats is My Holdings. You can scroll through them and select them by a simple click, and that will change the token stats and price chart above. To the right of your holdings is the recent transactions coming in and out of the wallet. Now let's move on to the juicy part, the decentralized exchange. On the left hand menu, you can select different options just by clicking. Let's click on trade decks just below dashboard. You will be greeted with a message explaining some basics. This is an MVP and will improve, as well as taker trades require Aphelion to pay the fees but there is no fees for purchasing Aphelion. Also, they have an option to set a gas fee to get your transaction prioritized in times of network congestion. After clicking accept, you'll be entered into the DEX interface. In the top left corner, there is the option to have a day and night mode, but since I'm the dark knight of crypto, let's go dark, y'all. Just below that is the option to change the trading pairs. Click on the NEO slash APH with the purple down arrow, and you can select your desired trading pair. A selection opens and you can change from both NEO and GAS trading pairs. For this video, we'll be using GAS and Aphelion, so switch to GAS by clicking it, and then click GAS-APH to open this pair. Clicking back on the market pairs, GAS-APH, you will close the trading pair selection, and you will be able to view the stats for your selected pair. Now that we have the desired pair, let's buy some Aphelion. Buying is pretty simple. On the far right is the order book, and the sell orders are in red while the buy orders are in green. Since we are buying, click on the furthest to the bottom red sell order, as that is the lowest price you can buy it for. Back over on the left, just below the two buttons to buy or sell, is the option to change your order from a limit to a market order. Let's choose market order, which is a basic taker order, while a limo order lets you set a max price for your order or a minimum sale price for sell orders. If the market doesn't reach your limit price, the order will not be executed. By clicking on the lowest sell order, it automatically fills in the sell order's price. Below the price, you can manually select the amount of Aphelion you would like to buy. Below that, you can also select the amount of the order you would like to fill by percentages, 25%, 50%, 75%, or the entire order. So let's now buy the Aphelion. Put in your desired amount and scroll down to see the totals in gas as well as USD. If you are satisfied, click place by order. Confirm once more and your order is placed.
Selling is just the same process and is executed just as quick. So let's now take a look at the market charts in the middle of the deck's interface. At the top is the option to change the time intervals for the candles from one minute all the way up to three days. Next to the right, you have the option to change the candles to lines, hollow candles, and even more. For you TA pros, you can also add indicators to your charts by selecting them from here. Many, many different options. You also have the option to go full screen by clicking the four opposing arrow button. Press escape button to exit that full screen. You can also use your scroller of your mouse to zoom in and out of the trading charts, and the loading time is very, very sweet. On the left-hand side of the market chart, there are many bonus features. The cross, you can click that and you're able to change your style to a dot, arrow, or eraser, which will erase anything you overlay on the market charts. You can add trend lines yourself. You can also add more stuff. Below that, you can add more advanced TA indicators like pitchforks, Fibonacci retracements, and a whole lot more. You can even paint over the chart, add text, add a multitude of patterns and waves, and more. It's a pretty epic system for TA traders. So if you're into that type of stuff, make sure to check it out. The final piece of the DEX is the trade history in the bottom right. This shows all the trades that are executed for the given trading pair. That is the DEX, but let's now check out a really cool portion of the whole Aphelion platform, committing Aphelion. On the left-hand side of the DEX interface is a purple bar with white arrows. Select that to be taken to the menu. Click on Commit APH. You will be greeted with an explainer of what this does, and give that a read now. Woo! So you can commit Aphelion to be awarded with some fees from transactions, kind of like staking. Close the welcome message and then you are taken to the commit interface. Click on commit and enter the amount you would like to commit and then click commit. On the bottom right, you have the option to claim your fees from commitment, but you also have the option to compound the reward back into commitments. The desktop app also has an asset section which shows you all of your NEO assets, a history section to show you historical data. There is also the option to join selected ICOs directly from the wallet. The final section is the setting section for the desktop app. Now, you remember how I said Aphelion has a gas fee you could apply for times of network congestion? This is in the settings section and move over to network fees. Select it and you have the option to add a fee and get it through times of network congestion. Now, this is great, but it doesn't solve the whole problem and Aphelion took it one step further with the concept of splitting gas. So what is splitting gas? This takes 1 16th of your available gas and splits it into equal parts, which allows the DEX and wallet to make multiple fee attached transactions on the same block. Now this isn't splitting up your gas into 16 parts and sending the entire split for each transaction. It still uses just 0.1 or 0.00001 of a gas, and it just allows it to come from multiple sources instead of one, a unique workaround for network congestion. Well, viewers, dig in, give it a try, and let me know what you think. I, for one, love the UI and speed. Cheers, and as always, I will see you tomorrow.